Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, well, today is April 4th and it is a 4-4 doorway and I was called to um, give some information from who, for whoever wants to hear it. Um, and they're calling it Open Enrollment to Ascension. So it's those who have been kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, teetering on the edge of a spiritual awakening who wasn't quite ready to do it. And now is your, your call. It's like, come on in. The water's fine. So we're going to do a reading. I don't know where this is going and I don't know how it's going to roll out. Um, my guides tell me that they will um, interject and um, put information out there that needs to be put out there, but, um, you know, welcome to the fold. Know that, you know, when it's your time to awaken, it's your time. It's a beautiful journey and, um, <clears throat> sorry, recovering from being sick. Not anything serious, it's like a really stupid cold. Anyway, so if I cough and I sound bizarro, that's why. All right. <clears throat> So, open enrollment for Ascension. So, first out of the shoot is, and I wanted to do a fun deck that would keep things light and fresh. This is the Seven of Cups. So, it's about choices. You have the choice to decide if you want to do this or not. <clears throat> and you have great possibilities for achieving or remembering a higher purpose than you're currently knowing as of now. This is the High Priestess. She's the quiet one that's full of knowledge. So, so far, so good. Ooh, they're flying out. And the Seven of Pentacles is about, you don't collect the fruits of your labor on the day that you plant the seeds. This is something where you, you watch it grow you tend to your garden, which is your own inner self, your own inner power, your energy, clearing out your energy. You know, starting to open your ears to the possibility of... <clears throat> Sorry. He, my guides was like, okay, the ones that just popped out, take them all. And now I don't even know what I was saying. But yeah, be open to those moments of, you know, hearing your guides, being open to hearing <clears throat> if they start showing you 1111, if they start showing you any repeating sequence of numbers. Look that up on the internet and it will tell you. You can put like, what does, you know, 4-4 four, four mean in angel numbers? And it, it should come up. Not should, it will. And you just have to interpret, you know, which... Which one resonates with you more? Because they're going to give you intuition, intuitional hints as to what they're trying to get at. <clears throat> All right. So. Like I had said with the Seven of Cups, you have a choice. You have a choice to either. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know. I have to move some of these activators. So you can see them, but I already did show it to you, but <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, you have a choice to make whether you're going to want to open up to this or not. And sometimes people don't have a choice. <coughs> excuse me. I went willingly. Well, they would beg to differ, but <laughs> for the most part, it's such a fun ride. And now with open enrollment, you know, all you got to do is enroll and they'll be like, okay. Well, not that it wasn't open to you before, but I think we've reached a, a part where, especially with this whole pandemic happening and everyone kind of like going on this fear-based sense of reality, this is calling us to move past this. <clears throat> you know, and the flip side is to where people, we realize how much we are all interconnected and interdependent on each other. So I think this is an excellent time do, to do so. 
We have got the beautiful Ace of Cups here. So you'll be receiving messages of love. And you have the Six of Court, Six of Swords, where you are, you know, going away from the choppy waters, You're going towards that smooth, tranquil water. And don't be worried about judgment because there's judgment upside down. I think it's a cute little card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do not worry about judgment. Because when the, the ones that judge you are the ones that are fighting against this ascension, are fighting against opening up to their own spiritual awakening. So just kind of like, oh, hee <laughs> hee. And carry on your way because you're you know your guides and the energies that are going to come forward for you they're going to keep you busy in like clearing out your old baggage and you know clearing the way for you to be a beacon for others and enjoying doing so and there's the magician card so this is showing that you can create what you want when you want and how you want you just have to clear those blockages from your inside you know like old Painful hurts from relationships or, you know, parents or, you know, whatever pain you carry around with you. The more you let go of it, the more you free yourself and the more experiences that you can have with your awakening. And it'll move you forward. There's the chariot. <clears throat> Saying it's time to move forward. You know, and if some of you are worried about, like, well, what about money? And it depends on how you want to take it. Some people stay in the same jobs they have, but they have their spiritual awakening quietly. And mine, for the most part, was very quiet. No one knew, except for my friends. Queen of Pentacles. And this is where <clears throat> she's got all the money and the abundance she needs. So... You know, for that old paradigm of, oh, people who are spiritual don't have any money. Well, that was a thing of the past. Okay? So, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Seven of Cups. Let's get some clarification. Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, i got to take up my unicorn mug. Yeah, so when you make the choice, the Wheel of Fortune is there for you. <clears throat> it's upright. I just feel so excited about this, especially when they were uh, talking about open enrollment. As soon as I heard that, I was like, what? <clears throat> yeah, so this is going to require you to go within. This is the Hermit card. You're going to go within. You're going to start seeking within you because there's lots of information that you can get outside of you books and videos but don't forget to go within and my guides are constantly fighting me about that <clears throat> so the six of pentacles it was reversed and that is <clears throat> you know don't let this fear get to you don't let the fear of like oh i don't know if i can do this just let it flow let it be easy because it is easy we're the ones who make it hard Trust me, and I am one who can sometimes make it hard. You got the Two of Pentacles reversed with this King of Cups. You know, and what, is, what this is telling me is some of you are still going to resist and you're still going to want to stick with the old earthly paradigm. But, you know, that's something that you just have to kind of work through. But the Six of Swords comes the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> so that's showing me that you're going to move forward, that you are going to go on your path bravely, I might add. Because this is fun, fun, fun work. You know, as I've gone through my, um, my spiritual awakening path, um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Because dealing in the mundane world is, to me, pretty damn boring. I mean, not boring, but when you have the magic of your own spirit combined with the physical, there's nothing like it. So with judgment comes the reversed king of swords.
So don't feel defensive about other people's judgment. It's going to come. And, you know, I, I found through mine that hardly anybody is, they might be skeptical, but they're not rude about it. Um, and even if they were, whatever. You know, like I said, they're the ones who are more resistant. And with this magician, there's the devil. So, of course, this is going to bring up your fears of manifesting. And it's totally natural. That's why I was like telling you have to like work through your baggage, work through your fears, work in letting go of those who, excuse me, did not serve you. You know, or maybe they did serve you just in a way that you, know, you weren't hoping for. Those ones that broke your heart or those ones that stole your lunch money or whatever the case may be. And with this chariot is the hanged man reverse. So all of this is going to give you the new perspective that you've been wanting. You know, anybody who's willing, who's still watching this video, they want this. They want to move into this new light. And with the Queen of Pentacles is the reversed Two of Wands. You know, it's someone who's looking into the future. Very optimistically. You know, like I said, you're just going to have to work through the, um, you know, the fear of it. The fear that everything that, that comes with all of this. But it's so fun. I swear. <laughs> and with the, the Page of Swords coming out. You know, this person has their sword raised up like, um, not the, in the typical magician they would, but there's a book flying there. There's two books and he's holding one. Like this is your time to study. I don't know if you know if it's a he, he, she, they. It's your time to study, open up, because there's so much you can learn. I mean, it's crazy fun. Crazy fun. I love it. I wouldn't give it up for the world. Let's see, so that's kind of the, the general gist of what they wanted to express, you know. Let's see, another one. Bye. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Star Seeds deck. Let's see what information. It would like to share with us. These are my viewers need to know for their highest and best. <laughs> Beautiful. It says a double mission. Light worker star seed serve the world by being you. You know and how relaxing is that? Where all you have to do is be you, continue to feel your feelings, continue to, you know, search for the light, learn what you're drawn to. I mean, so excited. You can tell I'm very excited. All right. What other message? This is beautiful. Also, it says... Lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You're, you've done this before. So like I said, if you're still watching this, you've, you've done this before. This is just the reawakening or the, the rekindling of what you've already been doing. And then rediscovering those lost inner lands within you. You know, like through meditation and... You know, astral projection, but mostly it would be for um, meditation. You know, you are being called. This 4-4 this, um, four, four portal, this gate that's opened, it's called you. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. It's so time. Let's see. And this one's beautifully comforting. It says, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. So this is a message to surrender to 
you letting go and knowing that something, some energy or another physical person is going to, you know, have your back. It's beautiful. And don't get me wrong, sometimes my guides, I'm like, seriously, people? Seriously? And then yet, when I pull my head out, I'm like, okay, I guess you guys were right. I was wrong. But sometimes it takes me a while to admit that. But <clears throat> my guides always have my back. They, um, they, they feed me information that I might not understand. But later on down the line, I do, and I go, oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> But sometimes it takes me a hot minute. Let's see, what else do we got here? Mm. And this one, this deck, it goes into, you know, looking at your shadow self. This one keeps popping up every time, every time I do readings lately. It's one where the person who has the deck can write down what they think they're their thing they need to work on. You know, like this one is um, the rescuer. The light attribute is um, provides strength and support to others in crisis. And the shadow aspect of it is assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. Ooh, good lesson, right? So let's just pull some <clears throat> random ones. Gosh, just see what else I keep saying. It keeps coming out. And I found that there's only two of them. So this one came out as well. <clears throat> so this is the... <laughs> How apropos. The Seeker. The Seeker thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. <laughs> and the shadow attribute of it is inability to commit to a path once found. And the great thing here, you know, like with the spiritual path, there is no one path. There's so many segues. There's so many forks in the road that all lead to the same place. It's just all the fun of getting to learn that particular thing that's drawn your attention. I love it. Okay, I'm hearing that, that this is it for that one. <clears throat> so... Let's see, what else? And I rarely ever use this one, but let's see. Why don't you put a question out there and let's see what, this is kind of like a, it's not necessarily a yes and no, but um, and it's a beautiful deck. It's very high vibe, but it's very hard to work with for me. So, sorry. I'm focusing, so go ahead and ask your question, and we'll see if this resonates with it. It says it needs you to communicate communicate clearly, so that either answers your question or <clears throat> it actually doesn't, and what it's asking for is for you to ask it in a different way. Ask your question again in a different way. Um, this one it's saying be assertive so maybe you were asking a question how to approach someone how would you tell your spouse that you're going you're you've been called to have this awakening be assertive or friends or family you know and I don't know what your question was but I'm just putting it out there all right do we have any more that we would okay let's see so we are going to draw on some goddess oracle cards to what kind of goddess energy wants to come out and speak with us today. Yeah, I, I can't even say it. Yamana? 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 I don't know. It says it's a golden opportunity, important doors. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You've got two portal doors opening here. Here, with this one, we just talked about you're being called. And then this one of the golden opportunity, important doors are opening for you. 
right now, walk through them. I mean, how much clearer can they get? Let's put another one. <clears throat> I can't pronounce this one either. Lakshmi? Lakshmi? Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. You know, and of course, when you're walking through, you know, a new doorway and you don't know where it leads, there's going to be some trepidation, right? And we'll do one more. This is the um, the Cat Queen um, Bassett. Bassett. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Independent. Your independence is the foundation for your strength and success. So remember that along this journey, because a lot of people get caught up in like spiritual groups and then there's always one person who's going to want to be the guru and then it kind of turns into this like situation where you're kind of disempowered so always be aware of that that was a good that was a very good point keep independent in your thoughts if something doesn't resonate with you it doesn't resonate with you move on there's so many other thoughts and things out there. You know, and find your peace. There is no need to worry, as everything is working out beautifully. So somebody out there, of course, is going to feel a lot of fear about this. <clears throat> but, you know, keep that, that fierce independence. Know that what you find and what you, you know, you research and what your meditations are telling you. You know? That's what spirit wants to share with you. Let's see, I think I would like to do this. These ones are kind of nice. I think they're called um, the Wisdom of the Oracle. And if you use a bunch of them, they definitely tell a story. And the more you, you listen to your guidance, the more you trust it. Or you learn, oh, I misinterpreted it. How do I get clear on making sure that I understand it? <clears throat> yeah, so you're going towards Treasure Island. There's going to be serendipity involved. It's, you know, you're going to kind of feel like, oh, I'm putting myself out to sea. And so the vast possibilities that are there. Fork in the road. You know, and that goes along with that first one earlier with um, choices. You know, you're blessed on this journey. You know, and this is going to be a continually unfinished symphony. So don't try to run to the end because there is no end. It just keeps going. So this is, to me, this is saying, remember to enjoy, remember to enjoy the journey. Enjoy that symphony as you go down your path. I hope um, you guys found this helpful. I really enjoyed it and I was really called to do it. Um, please give me a thumb, thumbs up or thumbs down, however you want to do it. Leave comments. Um, I am open to all. Because I realize there's going to be some this isn't going to resonate with, and or they're going to be triggered by it, and they're going to kind of fight against it. So, and then there's others of you who are like, yes, this is what I was waiting for. I felt it. I just didn't have that thing that was pushing me forward. Well, welcome, four four, open enrollment for spiritual ascension and awakening. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time on. Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye.